Since May of last year, the island has not recorded any abortions being performed. That's because Guam does not have a licensed doctor willing to perform the procedure. And with Governor Lulian Guerrero announcing that the search was on for an abortionist, former Senator Robert Klinsky has proposed legislation to senators to put an end to it. The legislation is called the Prohibition of Procuring an Abortionist Act of 2019. The uh, governor and uh, Jane Flores at the Bureau of Women's Affairs are apparently attempting to recruit an abortionist to come to Guam or entice an abortionist to come to Guam, apparently because there haven't been any reported abortions since May of last year. So maybe they see that as an emergency. The search for an abortionist began after concerns were raised regarding victims of sexual abuse who become pregnant as a result of rape, not having an option to terminate the pregnancy. What we're doing is what I'm doing. I am a one-woman show. What I'm doing is contacting Planned Parenthood and contacting an or organization called clinicians.org, which matches um, abortion providers with clinics and clinics with abortion providers. And then I have to, you know, there's another issue of, you know, will the person come out here and set up their own clinic? It's not going to be a clinic just for abortion because we hope to reduce the abortion rate. Klitsky points out that Flores has stated that she is unsure if the abortionist would work for the government or in the private sector. He further points out that Flores will be having a closed door meeting with the Department of Public Health officials to address the issue of recruiting a doctor. Uh, section two of, of my proposal, procuring an abortionist shall mean the use of any officer or employee or if any resource of the government or any public funds to advertise for, recruit, employ, or contract with an abortionist to reclose from off, relocate from off island to Guam to act as such. So uh, I suspect that uh, Jane Flores draws a salary and she's a government employee. So Flores has told PNC that her one woman plight isn't an expense. There are a lot of factors that go into this, but, you know, no money is being expended by the government to do this. It's just, right now, it's just conversations. But is that really possible? Klitsky doesn't think so. His legislation would prohibit any government employee from recruiting an abortionist, as government time would be expended in the search, and that translates into government dollars. Klitsky also has other concerns on how the issue is being handled. So Closed-door meetings, uh, abortionists, I don't know exactly what it is that they intend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If an abortionist somewhere wants to come to Guam, fine, but I don't see it's Jane Flores or even the governor's job to go out and recruit an, abort an abortionist to come here. I just don't see it as a proper governmental function for Jane uh, to be out recruiting an abortionist for the island. He says this is why the bill he proposes is necessary. While the governor has taken a pro-choice stance on the issue of abortion, Adeloup did not provide comment on the proposed legislation as the governor is currently in transit back to the island.